finger poking. There we go. Hello, hey, it's everybody. Time for us to... We are getting ready to um, rock and roll tonight. So, um, some of my the players are getting ready to settle down, get things all set up. I'm checking my sounds, making sure everything is working well. All right, welcome, welcome. Um, there we go. Um, so we are getting ready for some Starfinder in uh, the Ruined Clouds, Book Four of the Dead Sun's Adventure Path. And so um, last time we met was actually a month ago. Because last time, a couple weeks ago, was Resurrection Sunday, so we did not play. So we are pumped, and we are excited and ready to rock and roll. Um, how's Indeed. life where you are, Reno? It was very, very hot today, very warm. I was hoping to get out and do a bunch of uh, outdoor crap. And, uh, there we go. Uh, what I say to that? So we are getting got, ready for uh, I got, start. I got lawn mowing and... and Raking and seeding and wash the uh, sunscreen. I mean the solar panels off and you need to turn that turn the panel a little bit. Tomorrow is when it's happening, man. Oh, okay. today. The last time a couple weeks ago was Resurrection Sunday, so we did play. April. So we are pumped and we are excited and ready to rock and roll. Hello yeah. Jenny Matrix. So we have a Gen A Matrix joining us as well. Woohoo! Hello, Janae. And of course, we also got, uh, we have Dan Dazzle. Dan. So, I'm overestimating your curiosity, I'm sure, but my push to talk is the go back button on my mouse. And as long as I'm clicking in fancy grounds, I'm golden. But I'm trying to test my levels, so I'm jumping back and forth between Google, and I keep going back and going back. So um, that's uh, my my struggle tonight. Um, so, Roberta, how are things where you are? Oh, it's beautiful. It's probably the warmest day we've had in a week. Got up to a balmy 77 degrees today with sunshine. Ooh. And just like Reno, I would have loved to have been able to get outside and work on the backyard. But I but, had to sit on the phone today for eight hours and talk to customers instead. I was, was going to say, uh, Ben has had you uh, slaving away at the, at the homestead, I thought you were going to say. <laughs> but shh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do not like when it's over 60 degrees, but um, that's just my own personal struggle. All right. And Bobby, are you back? We lost you in the camera there. All right. What about you, Logan? Are you around? No. <laughs> awesome. And how are things where you are? Again. A whole Again. Uh, 10 miles from me, I think. Fancy grounds. I'm golden. Uh, but I'm trying uh, to test my levels. Fine. And I keep going back and going back. So. Um, all right, 30 seconds, and I'll have my sound my, test my finally done. Tonight. Um, so, Roberta, how are things where you are? Oh, it's beautiful. It's probably the one. Awesome. Okay. All right, we are live and ready to go. Let me go ahead and kill my Google. Oh. All right, so for those of you on the stream, um, 
things are going to look a little different tonight just because I'm trying something different. Uh, I've been running a second instance of Fantasy Grounds on my computer, from my computer, so I could stream from the player's point of view. Um, but it's, uh, that it seems to be a little too taxing on my CPU sometimes. So I'm trying it with just a single. We'll see how this plays out tonight. See if it helps at all. All right. And Bobby, I heard something there. Are you back? He was there before. His handsome face was on uh, Discord. Was it the right way up? <laughs> yes, it was fine before. Yep. It was fine before. Yep. Now it's sideways, dude. Now it's not on at all. It is fun to watch that way, though. Oh, the other way. <laughs> And I turn my screen off yet again. There we go. You're beautiful. Oh, almost. Are you seeing something I'm not? Are you talking about Bobby or Roberta? Bobby. Bobby is, is Bobby's fussing with his camera. He hasn't quite got it right. If we go like this, we can watch you, Bobby. There you go. All right, and so and just quickly, Sven, you said there's no way to to, to, to lock uh, the, the camera thing outside of Discord. It has to be inside the little thingy here. So, if you're talking about so, Bobby's camera, if you're talking about Bobby's camera, yes, you go to where it go says to voice channel Sven zone on Discord. Sven zone on Discord. Okay. And so then. Okay. And then. If you click up, on dude? the word Sven Zone, it. it'll then show you on the right side all the cameras, and down below it says Pop Out. Below. Below, below. Dude, you got to stop, man. So if you click the word Sven Zone underneath the voice channels. Right, I did. What's on the right all side the of the screen? Okay, all right, all right, there we go. Pop out. Oh, holy crap. Then you can shrink that down. And then if you click on Bobby's <laughs> face. Oh, there we go. I have massive face. white screen. Okay. Click on his. And there you go. And he will and be larger small. than everybody else. Yes, but can I make it smaller? You should be able to. You, you would think. Oh, that's cool. All right. There we go. Dude, you are on. I can see you, man. Finally. <laughs> That handsome mug. Cool. All right. So all we're missing is Logan. Yeah, yeah you don't have to lie. I right don't now. have a camera. I don't have a camera. I have no... <laughs> I have, I have no desire no for my face to be no on the internet. Dude. <laughs> Dude. I have no Unless you got warrants face. for your arrest, man. There's no reason. I, I, I went through all this shit to do this, so... Like, uh, I, I just uh, don't I just want my face on the, on the internet. I know, I know. We still love you. Bobby. Was Michaela there? No, she's not here. She, she'll be playing next week, but she's the right. same way about not wanting to have her face on the... Oh. The, well, yeah. we, have to, we have to work on that as well. If I had to suffer through it, everybody has to suffer through it. Hey, that was your choice to do that, not mine. Uh, if we're making people look at my ugly face, come on. Hey, man, you, you are very debonair, man. All right, so I think everything is ready to rock and roll. Um, looking good on the stream as far as I can tell. At least we should be at least. Um, 
Janae and Dan, if either of you are hanging around, if you see everything freeze or something happen weird, let me know. All right, so when last we left off, you guys had been traveling through the skyscraper. There's an 80-story skyscraper in the middle of the island city of Istamak. The island city of Istamak is floating above a gas giant by the name of Najor 4, way out beyond um, the packed worlds of Starfinder. But you are there looking for some cultists, trying to track down the information they came here for, annoyed everybody you have on the a, planet and left. Do you have the picture for that, uh, for, the, for the floating rock thing? I'm not seeing it. I don't think I have it here. Yeah, all, all my macros got got nixed when we switched over to Unity. So, do you have a picture of the uh, of the actual uh, rock we're on? There, there it you is. Go. And so, right now, they are sort of in the center here, where it says the spires. Where the letter A is, and yes, and they uh, were climbing up this 80-story skyscraper. Uh, so many of the floors, most of the floors, actually are impassable, or have some sort of. Uh, a couple of them are, are have gas that's uh, impenetrable, uh, lots of rubble and things. Um, but they are uh, now on floor 21 slash 22. Those two are combined. Uh, so it's a very tall, high ceilinged floor. It is a recreational facility with an arcade, a climbing wall, a cafeteria, some other areas they haven't seen yet. Some Kishites came. We're, uh, we're already there and eating peacefully when they came in and slaughtered them all. Or so they thought. So they thought. Kish, kish. Just looking up the... Uh, picture for you guys. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh my god. Images. Um, and so they successfully beat them back and have now are now standing over their bleeding corpses. Did you throw up that map or no? Map oh. is in mes message of the day. But I can share it with you as well. Is, 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 it, is that Skyscraper 2122? Yes. I got that one. Ha, my macro's working. Yeah, I gotta say, man, that was an epic battle. I, I think that we need to have like a like a commentator, like, you know, George Takei or, uh, you know, somebody just Morgan Freeman explaining what just happened. My, my that's, that's two times on my screen. Explain what happened, man. That was freaking epic. That was awesome. Everybody just kicked it. It's just the imagery was amazing. It's, it's, uh, anyway. I agree. It was very awesome. Um, there was lots of stuff going on with grenades and photon blasts and air elementals running around doing their craziness. One quick bit of clerical work prior to us rolling. Reno, if you open up the notes. Yep. You will see the summon creature list. Yep. So I've added an ape beast and an azata. Ape beast, okay. To your Just list of things that you can summon. Yeah, do, um, 
my, uh, my, my ribbons are not working on those. So, uh, can you just throw those up so I can save them and stuff? Yeah, that, that, that base, that beast with the four arms, man. What is this? So that is an Azata. They're an elemental creature that, um, looks similar to an elf. And she has a uh, bow and arrow. So this is okay. one of the few things that can actually shoot. That's a celestial bow, to be exact. Okay. Give me a second. Did you get that? Yes, I did. So can, can I save the, can I save the piezo as a, as a uh, a macro or or not? Yes, you should be able to. And it should. I'm not sure why it's not linking in the notes, but it should. Um. All right, give me a moment. And then the uh, yeah. and then that ape beast. Okay. That thing, I'm, I'm I'm eager to try that thing, man. That is freaking awesome. All right, so it does have a melee attack, but it's mostly geared around its um, range attack. Um, and it also has speaks Aquin. Um, it even has culture skills if you ever have the need or desire to do that. It has resistance to cold and fire, electricity, and petrification. And uh, if, petrification. If evil ever attacks it, it absorbs five points of damage first. If an evil creature attacks it. Petrification as in turning into a rock. Correct. Okay. Cool. All right, and then the ape beast. Give me that bad boy. Guys, you're gonna be impressed with this thing, man. This is perfect, considering that Nosi is a, a, a multi. Uh, uh, what is it called? Limbed. That's three. Three, three black uh, screens. A multi-limbed creature to have uh, the ape beast is gonna be. Oh. Hey, Bobby, you're still freaking sideways, man. And Roberta, if you're saying anything, I cannot hear you. He's always been a little mean. off Oh, he's very odd, but he's he's beautiful. He's handsome. Yeah, I was. It was poor confined before I. Your right thing isn't in the right position, dude. Yeah, before we started the stream, it was fine. It's a little choppy, but it seems to be improving, says Janae. And Kita is here as well. Woohoo! Yay! Am I still sideways? Uh, yes, you are. That's what I'm trying to figure out because it was right side up when I'm. No, I would just turn the camera, man. <laughs> I'm using the camera on my iPad. Ah, turn your iPad sideways, man. Yeah, what what Roberta's doing there? Logan, you still there, man? Yeah. You don't sound that thrilled though. <laughs> That's my yeah. issue, Ron. I, I, when I turn it back. Let my... oh, hey, I work okay. night shift, so I woke up kind of recently, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. 
We st we still loves you. Plus, Chris is an awesome character, dude. You, you chose very wisely on that. All right, so. Oh, I know what I did with it. Never mind. Um, I'm not going to worry about the picture of the ape beast right this second. I know. Okay. Uh, where it is, but it would take me another two minutes. I'll, I'll find it in a moment, and we'll randomly throw it up later on. Uh, I want to get things rolling okay. here. Um, so you are standing over these bodies. You see down below. So looking at the map, down below where Chris is, sort of in the middle of the, of the map, is this rock wall. So there's a, a U-shaped room. goes all the way up to the ceiling, about 25 feet up with rocks um, looks like cliff face he's standing on a slightly cushioned grass fake grass like a um, astroturf and then yeah. in the center of this is another about 25 I mean about 20 feet high just edifice there um, s sort of that you can also climb up as well um, and stand on top of and so that's what that big brown thing is in the center next to that moving over is the eating place where they where the kish were before up yep. all where all the colors are in the pink floor is the arcade that is dual level so there's stairs that go up to another floor all the way around the edge uh, there are machines there as well. Not all of them are working and functioning. Um, just under half, about 40% of them are working. Uh, some of them are destroyed. Some of them were just destroyed moment, mere moments ago. Uh, others of them just aren't functioning. <laughs> then above I... where Zarel is are two doors you guys have not gone through yet. There's okay. a stairwell that you came in, and then there are two doors just uh, above where the climbing space is, and then the hallway goes down and does a splits into a T. And you saw that's where a second group of Kish came from, so you're not sure what's down there. Okay. Um, is is there an obvious place where the uh, where the vending uh, food stuff was made for the eating? Yes, on either side there is a there are food replicators, and then right, okay. um, against against the bottom floor there are drink replicators. Cool. And we, um, what time is it right now? And you can zoom in on those things, by the way. You'll find that most of the images here that I use in to make my maps, you can zoom in with, and they have pretty decent detail on uh, with different depending on what you're looking at. And you ask the time. Let's open the calendar and take a look. So for those of you who don't know what the calendar does, um, it's a great resource as a DM especially, but the players can look at it as well. Uh, what Sorry, I do what, is I where, use where's it the time? to keep... I said it's four. Boink. So by time pressing these buttons... Okay. It um, it I'm thinking that if we have some sort of power, that we should maybe think about maybe having some food a bit and uh, possibly uh, doing some fatigue uh, fixing because I know Serena is like we're seriously... 20, 20, 21 down on our fatigue. You can also use the calendars to keep notes. And, and that's what uh, I do. Let's see. 5 plus 20. For all the different days. No C 74. So definitely uh, fatigue the situation for Snow C. If you guys want to take a quick break and uh, do some. Remind food themselves what they've been doing for the last several days. What do you guys think? Bobby, you're on, man. That's awesome.
Yeah, yeah I just that's... had to rotate my iPad and in the case to get it to work right. You mean exactly like I said, like 20 minutes ago? <laughs> so Sven, can I uh, use my uh, my resolve points to, to fix uh, Nosi and uh, Serena? What is this? So does everybody want to take a sh uh, short rest? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I am saying that. Highly recommend. Is, rail, is that what you want to do? We cannot hear you. Sorrel. Who does? I mean, you can't hear me. All right, and Bobby, is that what you want to do? Five on? Yes. Um, yes, I'll rest. Awesome. Um, Chris, are you down for a rest as well? Are you going to come back yeah, over? Sure. We'll join them, or are you going to stay where you are? Okay. And Roberta, are you able to move... Ara. Cool. All right, so yes, go ahead and you spend your resolve if you've got them. I'm going to go ahead and push you a short rest. So, what does the RP mean again? Resolve points. Oh. And you get those back at the end of a long rest. Eight hours okay. when you go to sleep. What the frickin' is? Don't I have something where I only have to take a short rest and it gives Hello? me... Yeah, well, no. Main page, you you uh, saying, stamina in the middle the, of... Okay. Freaking A. Diamond yeah, yeah, anyway. I don't think I was hurt that bad, if at all. Yeah, I, I'm not missing any health. I don't see you even picked. Do you have five? For some reason, I got kicked off of Fantasy Ground, so. Okay. So to answer your question, you are, you are, Fievel, you are unworthy, sir. You are unworthy. <laughs> Five is only down ten. I mean, only down twenty. No stamina. He's not even hurt. Um, I don't think any of you are down. Um, well, I mean, if he has sixty-five, points. that means he's at whatever there was forty-five. So, Good. sure call, dude. But I was sure yes, you do. You he has one hundred and twenty-six total, and he's down twenty, so he still has one hundred and six. How do you get that? Because he has 65 hit points and 81 stamina. He's a soldier. Oh, okay. I got it. Yep, so yep, yep. Serena has 60, 69 and 125 stamina? Is it because I'm badass for only being three and a half foot tall? Yes. I know. <laughs> you, you, you rock and roll, man. That is correct. You could take... So the only one that's actually wounded is uh, is, is Ara, our spider. Correct. So can should we, should we do a resolve point, or you have to wait to west, uh, eight hour rest? Whenever Zarel uses a resolve point during a short rest, then Ara heals half the, her its hit points. Mm. Cool. Well, then I guess I'm going to use a resolve point. Yep. It's a her. It's a cute little spider. All right. If, if I may do, if I may do a meta moment, I saw a video on uh, on YouTube. This guy is in Australia. He has a spider. I swear to God, it's about a foot wide. 
and he has a bucket he's trying to catch this thing in. That's barely a foot longer than that. I'm like, dude, you got to get like a garbage can to catch this thing. It's going to jump off. And sure as shit, puts it up there, bam, a foot-long spider jumping around your place. I'm like, oh, my God. I wouldn't be messing with any insect or anything in Australia. Well, if you live in Australia, man, you got to deal with this poisonous shit all the time. Then you know what? That's when I bust out the 12 gauge shotgun and just shoot it. <laughs> Let's put a massive hole in your ceiling. <laughs> Fantasy Grounds isn't letting me do my stamina. Most of the insects and well, it, animals it, it, in Australia can kill you. Exactly. Your uh, your fatigue, your your hit points went up on on Aria on my on my screen. Correct, because okay. you're not hurt. That's why it didn't let you do your stam like it normally would. Um, so it won't let you do it if you're fully healed. So you can either adjust it manually or I'll adjust it manually. Just change the number of the RP number. Uh, okay. Not the max, but I, I don't have it but in front the of me. Current. Got and it. So for the stream, I zoomed in on Aura in, in the group photo. And now I'm zooming back out. So, <laughs> so there's a group photo with pretty close approximation of height as well. Where, where is that? Oh, down on the bottom of the rail? I just shared it. Rail. Okay, cool. Talking about the overall picture of the crew. Right. The crew of the Mariko Nash. Mariko Nash. Why, why did they name it? Why did they name the ship that? Because uh, the the when we were originally getting it, the uh, the woman who was the captain of it basically uh, donated it to us if, if we were to, to do her um, to complete her mission, which she was unable to com to, to complete. So I decided I, I suggested to the party that we name it after her. Oh, okay. and everybody agreed. So named after, like, renamed after the previous captain. Gotcha. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Were you going to say something, Roberta? Nope. All right. Um, and so from left to right, we have, for those of you wondering, uh, so you can put a name to a picture. That's um, Serena Zarel with Ara below her. Chris working on the engine. Don't lay down and turn off your overhead. Then you have Nosy Fievel, our resident soldier and then his friend steve <laughs> steve right now is in the another, ship steve steve is awesome man Why is this not if working? we ever get back to the ship <laughs> hey St steve is taking care of our shit man he's he's got us down man he's, he's got our back Remember the security robot I uh, dismantled? Yeah. And put in the bag? My, my, my null space foot, my null space bag? Yeah. All right, so you've got these corpses bleeding all over the floor. And you step over them, sit down. The chairs are uh, made for Kish. So, uh, Fievel, you're... Uh, you can't. Your feet doesn't don't reach the floor. Are you gonna hop up on I'll the just, table, or are you gonna? Uh, just yeah, stand I'll just in hop. I was, that's what it, I was gonna say. I'll hop up on the table. <laughs> All right, and so these uh, food replicators. Um, you see that they the Kish were eating food anyway, so they are obviously working. Um, there's those of you who speak ancient Kishite can program them for uh, stuff, and you can try to do it for stuff that you like, or uh, there are already pre-selected options there as well. Um, and so Does you, archaic, so is archaic Kish uh, uh, allowed or not? Archaic is, is too much for the, for the uh, programs? So what archaic Kish is... Um, it is what 
they currently speak, what the, the barbarians who live there now currently speak. And it's called archaic, even though it's it's a little bit of a misnomer, a little misleading, because it's actually the more current version of what they speak now. Um, you know, if you imagine English the, that we speak today, go and if you went back to the colonies in 1700, what we speak today is slightly different, and you wouldn't understand the colloquialisms and the different phrases and things. Basic English is still the same, and it's the same thing here. So what you're looking at is the original Kish that they spoke about a thousand years ago. So these basic controls you're able to understand, yes. Does that answer your question? Okay. All right. And how long are you going to stop and eat? Well, I'm certainly willing to uh, try some of the, to see what this thing can do. See how, you know, how arch archaic it can go. Can it repro reproduce she here in food? Can it reproduce uh, holding control. Uh, drow shoes? Drow food? Let's see what we got. So half an hour? So we're saying half an hour? Yeah, let's give it half an hour. For, 40 minutes is casual. Casually eaten. <laughs> <clears throat> Until something interrupts us, yes. Exactly. And of course, uh, uh, Zarel's going to search all the bodies as she's uh, want to do. All right, so you searching the bodies. Um, Let me see what's in the party sheet right now. You do find um, most of them were were wearing armor. Most of them had weapons. Yeah, that, that one dude should have a, a, a decent uh, a decent level weapon. I'm thinking that the one higher level guy he probably has a decent weapon. You would think, but these people are kind of backwards. So the problem with their weapons is that they are archaic. What that means is your high quality armors and things that you wear nowadays, going up against an, an archaic weapon, you automatically do five damage less. So these guys have been doing five points of damage less with their bows and with their axes. And their knives. Right. Um, However, you can upgrade them to be more arm, to be more piercing, and do those things using a UPBs and stuff. Um, or you can use them the way they are with the archaic property. Now, what, wouldn't they have some sort of value as far as uh, collectors and whatnot? Because we're in a Correct. unusual. I loaded up the party sheet. If you open up the party sheet on the top right of your screen and click on inventory, you will see. Well, yeah, I, I think we should. Uh, I know Serena has her, her, her null, null voice. Oh my God. Null voice bed, void bag. So she can put those in there if nobody else wants to use them, I'm assuming. Uh, the battle bow. Almost almost two thousand gold, man. That's awesome. So I'm saying I think we should keep them just if, if, since we can. The uh, the 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 skirmish uh, kish axe is worth two thousand gold. That's I mean, the stuff we're buying is so expensive. So this will all help towards uh, that sort of thing, I think. Yeah. And so the two thousand UPBs are from scavenging the broken equipment that's around um you're able to go around and and fievel and uh chris are able to to go around and, and scavenge a bunch of stuff and and are able to get about 2000 upps sweet and nice for 
chat or anybody who's listening, UPB stands for Universal Polymer Base. They're basically, if you think of tiny, tiny, tiny Legos that are um, <laughs> used for pretty much anything that's non-organic. So you can make magic items, you can make electrical items, armor, weapons, um, a compass, pretty much anything you want, you can use to make, that's why they're universal. And they're also worth one credit each. The difference is these are physical things, although they're very tiny. Um, but you can walk into a store and dump a bunch of UPPs on the counter and pay for stuff. But you have to have them if you're going to repair stuff or make stuff on your own at a, using a workshop, a workbench, that type of thing. All right. Anybody else doing so besides searching the bodies? Anybody else going to do anything else? Chris, did you want to do anything special? Uh, I don't have. Did, now, this is your first time that you have met these Kish. Did you want to take some samples? Oh yeah, yeah, probably. Are you going through each of the characters, or should I just pipe up? You don't have an issue piping up, so I'll just try to get the people that don't pipe up, see if they want to do anything special. Um, are, you saying I talk, are you saying I talk too much? <laughs> Bobby, yeah, uh, Serena, Bible Serena is definitely gonna. Serena definitely wants to check out the arcade game, so. Once she gets her food and, and has already done her uh, her repair of her fatigue, she's going to go up and check out the games and stuff. All right. Uh, Fievel, did you want to do anything special? I, I was thinking I would go over to one of the games and take it apart. One that hasn't been blown to pieces and is still working. Oh, special. <laughs> All right, with what goal? To what end? Find any parts I may be able to use on something in the future. Okay, like so you're able to gather just... about 2,000 UPBs worth of stuff from the ones that aren't completely destroyed. Okay. And, um, Zarel, did you want to do anything? No, I'm just going to make sure that R is chilling and doing okay, and yeah. Okay, so uh, Serena, you see that there's a, a vast collection here. Um, there's things there that look like um, they're combat. There's some racing. There's athletic ones where you're like running and jumping, uh, like parkour type course. Um, Right. Uh, there's space ones. There's uh, space battles. There's ones where you're. In, it looks like you're in control of a starship. Um, a lots of different. Pretty much any any game that you can think of, from asteroids to joust to Skyrim to Fortnite. Right. Right. They can uh, all be she there. Definitely, she just definitely wants to practice some uh, some parkour stuff. She needs to get some some better. Uh, Conditioning stuff in and, and uh, physical movement. She's already already very good at the subtleties of of uh, all the sword and small arms things, but she wants to get in some parkour. That'd be really awesome. I'm talking about the video games, the arcade. I know. I know. So it's your little avatar on the screen who's doing the parkour. <laughs> I know it's not. A, I know it's a, emulator i'm just saying that that she likes that so she's gonna play that nice okay before before uh before uh five gets in there and tries pulling it all apart <laughs> so there are a couple that are linked so there's a couple that you can go against each other or work together uh there's a couple driving uh racing ones and then a couple fighting ones as well so if anybody else wanted to join serena you could of course, Nosy. Nosy's into the, into the car racing stuff, drag racing and stuff. So that's her thing. Her her one her one uh, weakness. Little asphalt nine legends. 
exactly. <laughs> some, some some Forza, some Need for Speed, whatever it is, she loves it. It's her her one her one uh, vice. She, she studies studies cultures and history, and but then all of a sudden kicks into uh, to uh, you know when, when she's back in high school. All right, and anybody else? What else are you guys doing now? So you guys have exhausted these two areas here. What else do we want to do? As far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as, uh, as, far as Serena's concerned, we, we can head out. We've uh, we've made a decision to leave the uh, the skyscraper, so we. We can continue our, our journey towards our ship, or or up, up in the up in the right hand corner there, where the uh, where the floating islands are. Do we have to go there still? Yeah, we still need to go there. That was our objective when we stopped here. All right, I, I see a little. This is our objective like twenty million years ago. I know. Well, it's only <laughs> been how long? Like a day and a half. <laughs> For, for how many floors you? I'm think? a but, mouse. Yeah, it seems I, like a lot longer well, than that. We, to me. We've been through all the stuff very carefully. I say, we'll just move on, so we, we don't get attacked by any sort of werewolf type of things. We'll just head on over there and see what we can find. All right. And uh, so, are you doing anything else on this floor? I don't think so. Well, uh, Serena's also gonna gonna just do a quick rock climb. She can like get up to the top rick super quick. The hardest, you know, black level stuff. She'll just take a quick look and see if there's any sort of hidden things up there by the bell. Ding! And head out. All right. So for S and G, give us a athletic check. Okay, give me a sec. Come on. Thirty-four. 34, very nice. Yep, so you're able to climb up onto the top of this center island here. And you see there's an open door a little bit. Looks like it opens up and then immediately moves. So there's a wall there right in front of it. So you're not sure exactly what that is. Is that something easily so you can like reach up and like check it out? Or, or have to like climb I up? I mean, and... across the hallway from you. Oh, okay. To the north. Got it. There we go. Was she seeing any, anything that would obviously be something that might be suspicious or possibly a uh, secret alcove for checking things out? Or is it pretty much a standard gym type of a uh, No, from where you are, you, like I said, all you see, this is not anything kind of unique. It's a um, recreational facility. Uh, you, besides the doors you guys haven't gone through on this floor, you don't see anything else special. All right. You just want to check out the doors up here to the north? <clears throat> anybody? Earth to anybody? Sure. Let's go. Check them out before we leave the floor. All right. So whoever's going up there, go ahead and move yourselves. Okay. Uh, let's see, no, C will be. Uh, okay, so uh, Serena will will be ready to the door and ask if everybody's ready to go. She has her uh, solar solar uh, sword in her hand. Um, uh, matte black blade with uh, blue lightning slowly going up it. No level two. Okay, and then uh, no, C's kind of hanging out. Keep an eye on things. Are everybody ready? Ready. There we go. I'm ready. All right, coming in. Coming in. Toilets. 
<laughs> Why doesn't that surprise? It's the restroom. Woohoo! <laughs> Looks like it's the restroom. My, my, this might be my guess. And as you turn to walk out, two tentacles reach from in the toilet and grab you. Oh no! It's good. Don't That's let there. it be the fridges all over again. That's all right. We can handle the fridges. Damn it. Mm -hmm. All right, so is it a bathroom as well or not? Or a shower or something? You see sinks along nice. one wall and toilets along the other. Okay, cool. I say let's, let's just look like a restroom. We can continue heading on. I'm going to assume the other door right here is the restroom too. I'm thinking Go so. ahead and click it. Go ahead. Open it. And in and out. <laughs> yep. It's like it's connect. They're just another. Okay, and then uh, no toilet monsters to come after us. Now that you thank can goodness, see, you can do an investigation check if okay. you want. All right, hold on. A little magic check. <laughs> do I have that? <clears throat> I, I don't have that. You don't have a magic check. I think no. no C and uh, Sorrel and Serena have it. So it would be a uh, perception check. Oh, here, main page. For, for Fievel? I'll do it. Yeah, he's searching the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's nothing there. I didn't see anything if there is. I didn't even see the bird floating. Seven times. And found shit. Moving on. I'm out of here. <laughs> magic, magic bathrooms, right? The bidet sprouts out whether you notice it or not. Okay, so what's in front of Anosi here? What, what, what is she looking at? The double doors, small double doors to open up. Yep. You know, as a soldier, I should be a little more perceptive than just what I am. <laughs> You're the one who spends your right. ranks, man. Spend more ranks in perception then. <laughs> I'm gonna say not really. A lot of soldiers are like, "Fight, go, fight." Yeah, they know what awesome. they know what they're shooting at and are fighting with. Right. Yep. <laughs> well, keep, keep in mind that uh, through through the wisdom of uh, of Nosi yeah. and the yeah. charismatic Why? character of <laughs> Serena, she has yeah. a lot of uh, of perception qualities. As well as magical out. qualities as well. So, all right. So, all right. So, you so see no, that there are several in doors in here. It looks like they're small. Well, by small, you know, ten by ten. One was a little bit bigger. Fifteen by by ten. Small rooms. Okay. Is it is it easily identifiable as some sort of function or no? As Not it relates from outside, to uh, you're. You don't see signs or anything in here. Well, I meant like no, she's standing inside. So would she like recognize the room as being some sort of function, as it relates to a kitchen or a cafeteria or a arcade or whatever? No, you don't know for sure. All right, so she's gonna telepathically tell uh, Fievel and uh, and Serena that she sees something over there. She's not sure what's going on, but uh, it could be interesting. All right, so five of you are in the small, the largest, largest of the rooms, and you see that there's a control panel by the door. Once you close the door, it behind you it lights up. Okay. Give me a computer's check. Check. All right, that should be easy for me. What else? Um, so Zarel, what are you doing? And Chris, what are you doing? Twenty nine. Oh, just hanging out here. Yeah, I guess. If something finds them, then run in. <laughs> right. Well, we have our communicators, right? So, but uh, correct. So we right. can. Serena can immediately say something, or Fivel can say something immediately as well. 
All right, and Nosy and Serena, what are you doing? As Five walks Nosey, by and goes into Nosey's the door and cuts tele- it. Tele- tele- Nosy slips the, I think is only 30 feet, right? And you have to be able to see them, yes, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? I, I say no, that's not the case. <laughs> So what are you what are you two doing? You two who? Oh, no, Tarina and Tarina. No. Okay, so if Fivel's already inside, right? Yes, he went in and shut the door behind him. Okay, so we're gonna head on as well, coming in, uh, being cautious and looking around, seeing if we can figure out what's going on with these rooms, why they why they are there where they are. So from out here, you're not. They, they look like blank rooms. You have to go in. Oh, did I pass my her. computer check with a 29? Well, I was hoping that Nosy and Serena would go in the rooms too or, or leave or do something. Are you guys going to do anything or just well, leave them yeah, alone? I, I don't, know, I don't even I'll know where he to is. The side so, then. Uh, yes, I'm going in. I'm going to find Five. How about that? You saw Five go into the larger of the rooms on the right. I don't know which one that okay, right? Okay, so this one up here, then oh, that one okay. Door says door closed, open the door. There we go, five. Okay, so what's, what's in this? Okay, so as she opens the door, everything turns off again, turns off again. So, did, did it turn on, turn, turn on when five went in? You don't know. I'm telling five this. Oh, okay. Do you say anything, five? Come in and close the door, please. I'm gonna, uh, okay, I'll, Serena will close the door. All right, so as you close the door, then you see the, the lights dim. This control panel cl- goes back up, and he goes t- typing it back into it. No, see, as you close your door, same thing happens. The lights go dim. A control panel pops up. Um, and as you're punching in different things, five all, all of a sudden you find yourself, you and Serena are in a field and there's grass that goes um, all, it's as far as the eye can see. Um, and behind you, there's looks to be some uh, water so on some sort of lake no see you're there and you punch in some things uh does no see speak ancient i mean archaic kish i uh, yes she does all right so you're able to figure out basic commands um and you see one that says ship bridge and you type it and then you find yourself on the bridge of a ship uh, there's a big view screen there that shows stars. You see off to the side. You see the planet, the, the big gas giant. Um, this is the this is the room that Nosy's no in. Yes. So this, oh, is, this like is, a, is kind of like a, a three uh, a holodeck from Star hol- holographic Trek. Holographic observatory, perhaps. Was that was that be your guess? Well, Bobby said it's correct. Like a holodeck a, from Star Trek. Like a holographic uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So she's very, uh, no, she's very interested in this. Uh, she'll also, t- you know, say, hey, you guys, this is pretty interesting. If you want to check out some uh, stellar action here, we, we can look around and maybe perhaps see where we need to go or uh, just pick out your home planet and. Five will give me a percentile. Five will give me a percentile. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. <coughs> Hold on. Give me just a second, please. Just a second, please. No, see, so give me a percentile. No, see, so give me a percentile. Percentile. Okay. I didn't click on the right one. I need the ten siders for that. Forty-six, man, the perfect, perfect number. Seventy-five. 
so getting back to our question of Nosy, your limited telepathy simply says you can communicate telepathically with any creature within 30 feet with whom they share a language. Conversing okay. telepathically with multiple creatures simultaneously is just as difficult as listening to multiple people speak. So therefore, you do not have to see them. Okay, but it has to be that, I mean, so everybody speaks common, right? I can just do common in most cases. Correct. And with all the different languages you speak, it doesn't matter what, whether it's common or, or like if you speak um, Yusoki and Elvish, Sheeran, Lushunta, all those things. It, it converts it to, the, to, to their language, you're saying? Yes, because you're speaking telepathically. So you are communicating with each person. Oh, okay, that's cool. Telepathically in their language, if you know it. It doesn't do it automatically, but you can pick who you, what you're like when you speak. You can choose to speak Spanish or English. When you speak telepathically, you can choose to speak Yusoki or Common or whatever. Okay, cool. That's awesome. All right, so there are, as Fievel keeps pressing the buttons, three scantily clad male Kish show up with... Um, one of them has a tray of, of beverages, a little platter, and they offer you, the two of you, drinks, and take your hands and, and try to walk you over toward the water. <laughs> no. no, thank you. No, see, Not you're in able the to, uh, you see that there are several Kish show up on the bridge and start um, working at different stations. So th these are not holographic or they are holographic? They are. They are. Do you go up and touch one? Uh... Who is this by again? Just think of the holodeck from from Star Trek. Everything on I have, it. I, I see, uh, all I see is you, so um, I don't see anybody else. But they could interact with it, touch it, talk to it. All right, just like so it Serena was a real person. Interact, see what's going on. Okay, so how long are you guys going to spend in the holodecks? And Zarel and Chris, are you guys just going to be standing there? And I just turn it off. <laughs> just hit buttons till I turn it off. I'm I wondering if they got stuck something. into a vortex. How long have we been standing there waiting for them? I don't know. I thought we were leaving. We are leaving. We wanted to check out uh, this unusual area where that we couldn't figure out what was going on. So we I'm have still a, trying we to have turn it off. We have a three, uh, we have a three Plus, I spent about two and a half hours on this there. map, so you're going to Check out all the rooms, damn it. Um, okay. But, uh, no see and Serena, how long are you guys going to stay there? So, five well, after about five minutes, turns out it, it, the whole thing goes black. Whoosh, Serena, as you're as the one guy is giving you a massage on your shoulders by the lake, uh, some gentle breeze and stuff, everything goes black. Whoosh, and it's all right, just so just step out the room again. And, uh... And uh, Nosy will say again about the if anybody wants to check out the uh, any sort of uh, planetary situation or solar thing. It seems like this this room is a pretty cool place to do it. I'm good. I don't trust anything in this place anymore. Because <laughs> it's too archaic. You thinking? Remember what happened in I'm the dance waiting. studio? <laughs> I know, right? I just don't I'm trust anything anymore. Well, I mean, it seemed, it seemed like this is an interactive thing versus the other thing, which was, you know, proactive. 
Oh, it was interactive, all right, but it was forced interaction. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you guys finish up in there, and also you realize you can program this to do any pretty much anything. So if you wanted to be on a beach, you could be on a beach also. Okay. Just that the smaller that ones are for looks to be like for an individual. <laughs> the bigger one can be for a couple more people. I'm standing up on a chair, just pushing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading out. We're going to go uh, against right, 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 to right. the west. Is there any doors here on the west, or is that like a wall? So Chris sees two was openings, cool. yes. Yeah, it looks like it's just a divider for some. It's a divider? Okay. Well, oh, just come here. I'm really bad at explaining things. Just... Come here and look. Come here right. and look. Okay. Oh, I'm backing up here. No, she's keeping an eye on the rear in case something comes up behind us. So, yes, folks in chat, I made this map what? from All scratch. Right. This room doesn't There's look nothing here. good. All right. So, you see that there are several sets of equipment as you come in here. Uh, things that look like vests. And look like rifles. Um, oh my god! In here, and there's a uh, some things look like little grenades um, and uh, a couple of pistols as well. He said the magic word. Oh, this is I know oh, what yeah. this is. Grenades. Oh, it's like a laser tag room. Oh yeah, you think so? so is that what on. it is? As opposed, it's supposed Those to a real door does not open. Oh. Sorry, it looks up on the I don't map. See you guys at all? Where are you? It does, guys, but right? I'm my I'm having struggles. My map. Hey, yo, we're around, around. this oh, wall. The, okay, all right, I see you there. I see it. Okay, so we're heading down the hallway that way. Dang it! I don't is there see anything him. below? Is there anything below? Uh, no, see uh, in this there. direction, south or not? Looks like it stops. So, give me a minute, guys. My map's being stupid. Okay. Here close it's it's user error but still all right so chris and zarel you see this equipment there and then as you guys step in and the door shuts your your room lights up and then you see there's a sign flashing above the door um do either of you i know zarel does chris do you read um have you learned ancient archaic kishite No, I don't think I haven't. All right, so you're, uh, the sign says waiting. Surreal. Okay. And um, Serena. 